What's up everybody? Usama here and you are watching Tech with Usama. Welcome to another Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus video. This video is going to be very different from the ones that I usually publish on my channel. This video is going to be about a few tips and tricks about the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. I'm going to share some basic functionalities of the Note 10 with all of you uh, and these are going to be helpful in a number of scenarios. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can boot the Galaxy Note 10 into the download mode, into the recovery mode, how you can wipe its cache and how you can perform a hard reset on your Samsung Galaxy Note 10. Now the tips that I'm going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate those tricks on the Galaxy Note 10, but those are going to be applicable on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus as well. So let me show you how you can soft reset your Galaxy Note 10. First of all, you can pull down the notifications panel and head towards the settings on your phone. And in the settings, you will go all the way down and here you will find about phone. In the about phone section, you can see reset and here you can see reset settings, reset network settings, reset accessibility, factory data reset and auto restart. Now, for example, you just want to restore all the settings. You will go with the reset settings option. If you want to reset the network settings, like you want to reset the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and the mobile data connections, you will go with the reset network settings and you will reset it. And similarly, if you want to reset the accessibility settings, you will go with this option. And if you want to perform a soft reset, you will go with the factory data reset. Here you can see that it says that it will wipe the Google account system and app data settings, downloaded apps, music pictures, all other user data, services, service provider apps and content. And then it will uh, wipe the data of all these applications as well. You can simply click on reset and enter your pin here. Now this is a soft reset. Uh, before you perform any kind of reset, what you must do is you should go to the accounts and backup on your Samsung Galaxy Note and click on accounts. In the accounts, you will find your Google account. Click on it and click on remove account. Now removing this account is extremely important because in case you forget your password later on, the phone will not let you in. You must perform this uh, account removal process in order to regain access to your phone in case you don't know about your password. So here you can enter the pin or just simply use a fingerprint to verify the account will be removed and now you are all safe to perform the factory data reset. Now, this was the method to perform a soft factory data reset. You can just go to the settings. I'm just giving you a flashback about phone, reset and click on the factory data reset. Click on reset and enter your pin number to perform it. I'm not going to perform it right now because I have to perform a hard reset and I'm going to show you that in a bit. So it's time to take a look at how you can boot the Galaxy Note 10 into the download mode, the recovery mode, and how you can access the wipe cache partition and the hard reset settings. So to access that, you need to change a few settings on your phone first. Samsung has changed the way the power key worked on the phones. The power key works as a side key now. So first of all, you have to change its functionality. To do so, you will pull down the notifications panel and you can see this button here, this power button, click on it and you will get this menu. Now click on side key settings and you have to set the press and hold as power off menu. This is very important because we are going to use this button for various purposes. So we can now uh, turn off the phone. First of all, we are going to boot into the recovery mode. So I'm going to turn this off, power off. Here we go. Now, when the phone is turned off, you will press the volume up and the power button and keep the keys pressed unless the phone turns on and takes you into the recovery mode. You can let the keys go after the phone vibrates and you can see that we are in the recovery mode now. Now here you can see that we have the reboot system first of all. After that we have the reboot to bootloader. We have the apply update from ADB, apply update from SD card, wipe data and factory reset, wipe cache partition, mount system, view recovery logs, run graphics test, run 
locale test power off and lacking storage booting so first of all we have the reboot system now when you are in the recovery and you highlight the reboot system and press the power button the phone will reboot and take you to the home screen so now that you know how you can boot into the recovery mode and you also know how you can get out of the recovery mode the next trick that i am going to show you that is to boot into the bootloader mode it's also known as the downloading mode for samsung phones and this mode is used to flash software on your phone through the odin 3 tool now there are two different methods to boot into the download mode one method is to press and hold the volume down power button and plug in the cable the usb type c cable into your phone while the other end is connected to the laptop since that is a quite complex method to boot into the download mode i am going to show you the easier one so what you have to do is you have to first get into the recovery mode on your phone and here you can press volume down once to highlight the reboot to bootloader when you highlight the reboot to bootloader and press the power button you can see that the phone is now rebooting to the bootloader and it's going to take us to the download mode you can see that we are on the downloading screen now i am not sure if you can see it here or not because the screen is too dull right now however uh, here is the download mode you are now all set to connect the cable and start the flashing of firmware through the odin tool to get out of the download mode you have to press the volume down key and the side key for more than 7 seconds i am going to do that now okay the phone is now rebooting and we are out of the download mode as well so this is how you can access the recovery mode and the download mode on your galaxy note 10 so next up what i am going to do is i am going to wipe the cache partition on the galaxy note 10 cache partition will not hurt the data on your phone it will simply refresh all the processes all the background processes of the applications and will improve the performance of your phone by a very slight margin so to fight the cache of your phone you will first turn off the phone and then you will press volume up and the power button once again the phone has vibrated i have let the keys go and it will take us to the recovery mode now we are in the recovery press the volume down key to highlight the wipe cache partition and then once again press down key yes and go ahead the cache has been wiped now i can reboot the system now and i am all set to give a fresh start to my phone however i also want to show you how you can perform a hard reset on your galaxy note 10 you can just come here and highlight the wipe data factory reset click on it highlight yes now remember that this is going to wipe everything from your phone it includes the internal storage it includes all your apps all your data that is related to those apps and everything else that is there on your phone so before you think of factory resetting your phone please make sure that you make a complete backup of your phone you can make a backup using the samsung smart switch tool i will definitely try to do a video on that as well however right now we want to demonstrate how you can factory reset your galaxy note 10 so i am going to press the power button yes and here we go the factory data has been performed you can see the logs here it shows all the logs uh, everything that has been wiped can be seen here so we can just go ahead and reboot system now the phone is now rebooting and it will take us to the home screen and we will have to set it up all over again so guys that was all with the note 10 and the note 10 plus is factory reset the recovery mode the download mode the wipe cache partition and the hard reset if you have any questions or queries please make sure that you drop them in the comment section down below and make sure that you drop suggestions for my upcoming videos as well i will make sure that i respond back to all the comments as soon as possible and make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the like button if you find this video useful i will see you in the next one really soon